All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about a feature in DaVinci Resolve 17 that's been a massive time savings within my own personal workflow, but I'm not really seeing anybody else talking about it. And that feature is actually that they sped up the superscaler by an extraordinary amount. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So before I begin, I just wanted to say I know I didn't actually cover the super scale in any way, shape or form on my channel yet, but I will follow this video up next week with exactly what it is, why it's useful and how I use it in my workflow. But for the purpose of this video, just know it's uh, DaVinci Resolve's AI upscaler and it's only available in the studio version of Resolve, which is the paid version. Alright, so as you can see in the timeline, I have three different video tracks here. Video track three is just the 30 second video clip I used for the testing purposes. Now I did actually run this test eight different times with eight different clips that I have in my video backlog. And I'm only showing the single worst result that I got out of the entire bunch. So you can expect to get about these results or better when you're using the super scale feature for yourself. Video track two is my results from DaVinci Resolve 17 and video track one is terrifyingly enough, the results that I was using in DaVinci Resolve 16. So if I just jump to the end of it, you can see that it took me two minutes and eight seconds to do this render in DaVinci Resolve 17. Well, it took me just over 25 minutes to do it in DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, just so that I can have this running in the background and you can see it running in real time while I'm talking for the rest of the video, I'm going to speed them up by 10 times and just play both of them. Now, little caveat, I did accidentally drag and drop the DaVinci Resolve 16 um, results onto my second screen, but I was screen capturing that, so I trimmed it down to the proper time but I know it will cut out at some point during this video. I didn't stop it early. It just went to my second screen. I apologize about that. Anyway, uh, so the testing methodology in this video, I have a 4K canvas and each of the video clips is 720p. So what I did was I used the super scale on three times to completely fill the canvas. And then I right clicked on the video and when to generate optimized media. Now, I know some of you are going to be asking why I did this, especially when in a lot of my other videos I talk about using a render cache. Well, the main reason is right here. You can see this nice little countdown of the time remaining. And in my testing, I didn't really see too much of a difference in both the uh, render time or the final export time, whether I used optimized media or whether I use the render cache. So for this video, I just decided to use the optimized media for the nicer little countdown that it shows. And from there, I trimmed each video clip down to the moment from where I clicked generate optimized media to the moment that it finished. Literally the frame it started and the frame it ended. And what we can see is a 12.5 times reduction in the rendering time when I was using DaVinci Resolve 17 over DaVinci Resolve 16. And in terms of a practical time, that means I saved about 21 minutes of, or 22 minutes rather, of total export time where I had to basically leave the computer alone while it did work. So to me, this is a massive time savings and I'm sure it will be for you as well if you're using this workflow and um, another thing I did want to mention as well is it didn't actually change the total export time. Both of that ended up being about the two minute mark, regardless of which method I used. Just know that the actual render is massively reduced. And I did just want to mention, I did run this eight times in total with several different clips I have in the backlog. So it wasn't just this gray shirt test clip. I did run it with eight different ones and I saw anywhere from this 12.5 times reduction in time all the way up to 20 times reduction 
in one of my video clips and on average it ended up being about a 15 times reduction. So on average I was saving about 30 minutes by rendering out this uh, super scaled 30 second clip. So if you are doing super scaling on longer videos, then it could save you even more real world time. And there we have it. I think this is an incredibly powerful feature, which is why I'm going to be covering it next week. And if you haven't tried it out for yourself, I highly suggest that you try it just to see if it could maybe improve your video quality a little bit. But in the meantime, this has now become something that is definitely usable, especially if you're using DaVinci Resolve 17. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything coming up in the future. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.